Larry, thanks for uh, calling me back. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, uh, GitLab, but right now all my developers are using github.com and they really feel the power and the convenience of it. Um, I'm considering going with GitHub Enterprise because we feel it'll be something just like an internally hosted uh, github.com. Uh, and, and part of this is we like to consider it uh, as a way of saving time for a learning curve for our developers. What can GitLab do for me? Yes, yeah, so John, that's a point is, a, is well taken. Uh, going from GitLab or GitHub.com uh, to GitHub Enterprise, certainly on one hand does reduce the amount of retooling that might be necessary, but to go from ideas to production is more than just version control. <laughs> that said, let me ask you, what does the ecosystem currently look like from workflow from ideas to production? That's a great question. We're, we're, we're using uh, Jira uh, as our issue tracker and we're using Jenkins as our CI tool. Okay. okay. So when we talk about going from ideas to production, as you can see, it's more than just GitHub. And in your case, it's GitHub, it's Jira, it's Jenkins, and there's probably an insundry amount of other tools and processes that are necessary. A big challenge, and I don't know, John, if you're confronted with this, but what we hear from our customers is there's, there's a tremendous amount of complexity uh, in having our customers have to stitch together uh, an ecosystem of disparate tools to comprise and to become that workflow. And when we talk about stitching, we're talking about configuring, we're talking about integrating, we're talking about administrating, we're talking about securing and testing and maintaining over time. These are some of these products, Jenkins specifically, can the plugins become quite heavy and can actually become quite brittle. Now, is this an issue for your organization? That's actually a great point, Larry. We, we actually have a dedicated administrator just for our Jenkins server. Um, and, and, and you're right, keeping it updated with all the updated plugins, uh, JDK versions and all that, it, it is becoming an issue, there's no question. One of the trends that uh, we see, and in fact, Forrester recently wrote about, is the paradigm shift towards away from these centrally managed and environment, Jenkins environments towards more towards a self-service model, empowering the development community so they can get more done. So on one hand, we're going to bring more, more functionality to bear, but the beauty here is it's all contained within a single code base. It's a single database. It's a single UI. And 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 as a result, on one hand, there'll be incremental learning, but all, but over time, that learning is going to be minimal in light of the value and accelerated delivery that ultimately that you would get from a single platform. Because at this point, you've removed complexity. So I, I guess my question for you is, um, is is this an issue for you today, or or is the environment quite? secure and quite uh, consistent. No, that's another good point as well, is securing all these environments for our users is choosing to, is, is definitely being a challenge for us. Um, uh, a single integrated platform is something that, that sounds very interesting to us. So then let me, let me just get back to your question. You're concerned about the retooling that would be necessary, and that is the learning, okay, and, and, and understood. Both, both platforms are based on Git, so that learning would be minimal but you're getting a lot of new functionality as well and you're, and you're reducing the amount of time that it takes to stitch together the environment. So let me summarize. What GitLab ultimately will give you, John, is, this, is, 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 a, is a single code base, a single environment, a single platform to go from idea to production. And as a result of that, that reduction in complexity will truly reduce cost and it will accelerate value delivery and predictability. So that's really what you're gonna get at the end of the day. What do you think of that? I think that sounds great. We should talk further about it. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Larry.